Dear audience, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will talk about the topic VM to Hack Translator, the second part. This is covered in the textbook, Chapter 8. I would like to uh, make a correction of my previous video. Previously, I have uh, said uh, all those five segments are, use, are using the same implementation, which like this, which is uh, not quite true. For argument local this and that, use this uh, implementation no problem. However, for time and the pointer, they should use a, a similar implementation as the static. Let's consider why. Let's consider what is static. Static is a memory region start from uh, 16. How about uh, time? Time is another segment uh, start from uh, RAM 5 up to 12. Uh, how about the pointer? Pointer is just uh, uh, RAM 3 and RAM 4, just two elements. So they are all at a fixed uh, memory segment, like 16. For time, it's a uh, 5. And for pointer, it's 3. Let's put the values here. 16. Uh, put it back. 16, 5, or 3, which matches those three memory segments. 16, 5, 3. Okay. That's it, my correction. Let's go back to our today's topic. Today, let's have a look where we left off last time. We left off a label, go to, and if, what is if? Should be if go to. And also function and a call. So there should be a return. Yeah, return. After calling function, we need a return. Those VM commands also follow the same pattern. It has different uh, arguments. Operator name and uh, value. Let's start from the simplest uh, let return, which only have one uh, return. Return is a bit complex because it is a part of the function calling process. Uh, let's start from uh, the from the control flow commands. For label, we just define a label we can jump to. For go to, we load that label and jump to it, uh, uh, load this label, jump to it unconditionally, zero jump. Yeah. For if go to, we need to consider condition, which is a true false value at the top of stack. We pop off that value and uh, uh, and do a comparison. That's a comparison. Which here should be a jump, uh, ne. Now this is because uh, we need to understand uh, the true for true false value of that. If its value is a zero, it's, it's four false, of course. But uh, what is true? Previously we have said minus one is true, but in this condition, anything not false is true. As long as uh, that, that value not equal to zero, we jump to this label. Otherwise, we continue to execute the uh, following uh, class. Let's have a look of a uh, function call and return commands. Uh, 
for the call command, which is a, a, a caller function. Uh, save is a context register, which is a, like a local argument, this and that. And also the return address. After saving that, we need to switch the execution to the callee function. The detailed implementation is that uh, it is in in figure eight point five on our textbook. The first step is to push return value. What is the re, re, return address? Sorry, return address. It is defined with a label uh, at the end of this uh, call command. The next step would be push local pointer to the saved frame. After that, we push argument pointer and this pointer, that pointer, using the same way. At the, uh, at the end, we need to put, place the argument pointer to tell the callee function which arguments we, we are going to pass in. The next step is to put the argument pointer at the correct uh, position, which is sp minus 5 minus the number of arguments. Why, uh, how to put, uh, because a frame may appear at uh, any position, the easiest way is to use a local pointer as a reference because the local pointer is always uh, below the saved frame. But we ha may have a different number of arguments. So the relative position between the argument and the saved frame may vary. Next, we need to put the local pointer, a pointer to the local uh, variables. Where do we put it? Uh, after saving the saved frame, the SP is, is here. So we just uh, put local pointer at the same uh, as SP at that, that moment. And then we initialize local uh, variables, sp will uh, increment. This is done by the function header. Uh, we will cover this uh, shortly. The last thing is to uh, switch the execution to the callee function. This is pretty simple, as the name of callee function, and uh, jump to it uh, unconditionally. So where is this function name defined? Uh, it is defined using this function header command. We use a label to uh, uh, define an entry point to jump to it and uh, have several lines of code to initialize all local variables to zero. Uh, we can do this in the implementation of a VM translator. We just uh, in C++. Java or Python copy may call copy of this block for several times. We can also do this in hacker assembly language. After the function execution, we need to return to the caller function. This is a bit complex, but no worries. We will go through those steps one by one.
the first thing is to uh, define a frame, which is a saved frame. We need to fix this uh, position because we are, we are going to uh, restore all those pointers uh, shortly. We need a fixed uh, position for reference. This is done by finding the local pointer because this local pointer is always one address below the saved frame. We may have different argument, so argument point may vary. So we have to use a local pointer to work out where is a saved frame. So let's have a look, how do we implement this uh, frame equals a uh, uh, local pointer. Here it is, we use R3 to save, uh, to save the address of a saved frame. Uh, R3, R13 is in this region, general purpose register. You can also use temp or, or static. The next step is to uh, uh, restore the saved address. This is at the beginning. Remember that our address of saved frame is at the end, so we need to minus 5 to restore the saved address, which is here. We have a, this is a frame pointer, uh, minus 5, minus um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, return address. I would like to save it in another a uh, general purpose uh, register, which is uh, uh, R14. After that, we just uh, uh, we need to move the return value to the memory the location pointed by the argument pointer. Any function has a one return value, no matter it is specified by definition or void. Even void function return zero. The return value should be at the top of stack. We need to move this to the to the argument pointer to the position pointer by argument pointer, which belongs to the caller function's working stack. The next uh, step is to restore SP. We need to uh, restore the caller function uh, stack pointer to here. The caller function stack pointer should be one uh, place below the argument pointer. We need also re to restore this, uh, that, this arc and the local. They are all share the same way to implement. The last thing is to jump back to the color function, hand over the execution back to the color function. which is jump back to the memory address stored in R14. It's our return address we stored earlier. Jump to this address unconditionally, which is our final return step. In this video, we have looked at how to implement uh, uh, control flow commands and the function call and return commands. 
Due to the limited time,、uh, I don't have a code implementation、uh, in my GitHub. If I got time, I will update my previous project. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.